morning guys I'm currently in Yale's old campus square with a bunch of like 10 year olds playing football so sorry if you hear like the random scream but I'm going to be editing the vlog of clips from the 1st to the 13th of July I hope you enjoy the compilation of lab stuff, of like food. We've been in an Airbnb, as you know. Well, I've been in an Airbnb with four other Cambridge medics from my college. And we've been cooking our own food, buying stuff from Aldi. We went on a massive Walmart shop as well. Lab has been so much fun. They haven't put much pressure on me at all because I'm a summer student. So I've just been like enjoying getting to know people, um, practicing my Chinese with the Chinese lab people and um, using the gym, you know, going to New York. But this vlog will show you what I did between July the 1st and the 14th. Um, I can't believe I'm like two thirds of the way through. Like a part of me is really, really excited to go back. now in a different part of the old campus this is i think where all yale first years live um, because some of my friends friends from her lab took us around yale and showed us all the things that yale students do So at the moment it's been five days since I started at the lab and this is the first part of New Haven that feels a bit like home. It's really lovely, it's really green. Um, we're just with a lot of Trinity Hall medics right now and another medic from um, Robinson College from different years and we just hiked up this massive hill and I think my general understanding of the lab is that it's really the people that make it what it is like at the end of the day it's like wet lab is always just like pipetting and mixing things and culturing things and doing really cool science western blots and like pcr and machines but like it's knowing the people and interacting with um the people that make it so special um the, la the lab manager lars has been really nice and showing me everything and teaching me and um, yeah everyone's just so down to earth so willing to help so that's what I'm really enjoying and I'm so lucky I get to be there even if I'm not paid um, which is actually more freeing because I can decide what I do with my time if you look really carefully in this video you can see a little firefly on the grass in the middle of the screen <laughs> <laughs> it's a video Hello, we are about to go to Arethusa <laughs> ice cream after a day at the lab um, with some of Kujini's friends from the lab. <laughs> um, and then we're going to have a Yale College tour. This is a famous hat. <laughs> 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 oh wait, sorry, wait, start again, start again. Hello, we've been given a tour of Yale and it's really cool. Um, <laughs> this is a building and that's a fountain. <laughs> Hello, we are at the point of the tour where we're next to the Beinecke yeah. Library. Or the Beinec Library. <laughs> Who knows how it's pronounced.
So that was Yale um, until mid-July. It has been a great experience. I feel like the best part is actually learning to properly survive by myself because even in university, right, I still have hall, so I still have food cooked for me, lunch and dinner if I need it, and it's like fairly cheap and accessible. Sorry. But here I have to like buy my own food, I have to exercise by myself, I can't just go and play badminton and I have to like socialise and rest and like do routines. So you know I'm learning a lot and I'm thankful for those life experiences and to learn off so many different cool and interesting people. It's really humbled me. Um, so I will see you for the next instalment of Yale. Bye!